regime of impunity in town now and as a result you could see uh, how they manipulated the process to produce the results that they now got but we must thank our compatriots who have not slept who have slept who have not slept since we've been detained who have worked very hard to ensure that their messages get to the highest levels we're supposed to have come for this hearing on Friday but they ensured I was frustrated were not brought to court and I alerted the judge to that effect that the police ought to have been punished for engaging in impunity. But I am their target, as you can see. For the second time, a judge is asking me to remain in Abuja and not travel abroad, even though I can't travel already. I've been restrained to Abuja and given a bail condition to produce a civil servant, which is unlikely to want to risk his job. Uh, and to produce somebody who has 20 million naira. Uh, if you are a civil servant and you have 20 million naira, you are likely engaging in corruption. Uh, you know I'm an anti-corruption uh, activist apart from being a political activist. But I'm just here to thank Nigerians for standing tall, standing firm, and assuring them that we are not giving up until the country is completely and finally liberated. Thank you so much. Revolution! What we have seen so far is a victimization. And it's, it's an attempt to shrink the civil space, the civic space. It's an attempt to oppress freedom of expression. And this is what we are not ready to lose. As citizens of Nigeria, the constitution empowers us, all citizens of Nigeria, to express themselves. And um, with all of this that's happening, what happened? Why didn't you people show up on Friday? Uh, 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 we were kept in the custody of the police. And so, if we were allowed to come ourselves, we would have come. But it's obvious that it was everything's game. They refused to bring us to court on Friday in all attempts to keep us over the weekend so as to extend the detention uh, with the purpose of breaking us. But it's un it unfortunate that while we were in, det in the detention, we had access to several victims of injustice and we've been meeting with them, talking to them, and then. We promise to advocate for a number of them when we get out of the cell. So it was an opportunity to meet other oppressed citizens uh, in the detention. Yeah, the, finally, the Gudu Five, we call it the Gudu Five, uh, Showere and the other four, have uh, finally been granted bail today by Chief Magistrate Mabel. Um, the conditions of bail, like we all know, uh, Showere, the first defendant, is uh, required to produce uh, two shutters. First, uh, a bill bond of uh, 20 million naira to be signed by Showere and two short season like some. One of them is to be a civil servant of grade level 12. The other could just be anybody uh, of miss. Uh, for the second to the fifth defendants, they are required to sign a bill bond of 1 million naira each and uh, provide a short seat. Who will also sign a bill bond of a like some, uh, who must also be resident in Abuja. I think these are basically the bill conditions uh, upon which their bill application was considered and granted today in their favor. So how do you see the times? Yes, yes. Are you satisfied with it? Well, I think uh, our worship uh, has discretion to look at the circumstances of this case, uh, to look at the variables and uh, to exercise that discretion judiciously and judicially. Uh, worship has exercised that discretion judiciously and judicially. If you ask me whether I'm okay with the bill conditions, well, the first application, our first application was that they should be allowed to go on self-recognizance. That means they should be allowed to go 
without any bail conditions. They should just said, well, these guys are patriots. You can just go back to your house and then continue your agitations as patriotic individuals or citizens of this country. So if you ask me if I'm satisfied with the bail conditions, of course I will tell you I'm not entirely satisfied with it. On a personal note, I'm not entirely satisfied with it, but of course the conditions are still meetable and we are uh, on the verge of meeting the bill conditions. And hopefully in the next one to two hours we'll be done meeting the bill conditions. So we'll ready back to trial. Trial we, are, we, we, are, we are ready for trial. Uh, if you may recall, during the proceedings, before we moved the bill application, I did inform Hawashi that the charge itself is incompetent. Uh, the charge is in every form of it, not one that a judge should even look at and even upon that basis, Section 162. I commended to our worship Section 158 because the charge was incompetent and she could not have just granted the bill summarily without even formally looking at the charge because the charge, as far as concern, is not the charge. So, the issue of trial, there's no trial, there's no trial. This is just an attempt at taking citizens away from the streets, from agitating for their rights. But of course, if they intend to proceed and prosecute this particular matter, we don't have any fears about that. We're ready for them. Yeah.